So in this question, we are asked to determine the change in volume of a diamond when it is brought from an initial pressure of 5.35 gigapascals to a final pressure equal to atmospheric pressure, which is 1.013 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal. So we have both the initial and the final pressures given to us. We also know the volume of the diamond right here. And in order to determine the change in volume, we're going to have to use the following relationship right here. We can see that the change in pressure is equal to negative a quantity known as a bulk modulus, which is given to us in the problem, multiplied by the change in volume over the original volume of the object. So since we're trying to solve for the change in volume, we're going to first algebraically solve for that quantity. So we can do that by first multiplying both sides of the equation by V. So the V's cancel out on the right hand side. And then to solve for the change in volume, you can divide both sides of the equation by negative B. The negative B's will cancel out. This will leave you indeed with change in volume. Now we want to continue to manipulate this expression just a little further. Whenever we have the change in a quantity, we know that that's the final value of that quantity minus the initial value. So we'll probably want to rewrite it one more time so that we can do final pressure minus the initial pressure. And then again, divided by negative B. So now we are set to easily calculate the change in volume. We just have to plug in the known values. Remember again that the volume was given the value of the bulk modulus was given, and then the initial and final pressures were also given. Just be careful with the initial pressure. It was given to us in gigapascals. You're going to want to change that into just pascals. So you'll do that by multiplying the given value by 10 to the power of positive nine. That will change it into pascals. Let's go ahead and plug in the known values. So the known values have plugged in. I did neglect to mention that the bulk modulus, that value of B, that was also given in gigapascals. So just be careful. You would take your given value, which in our case was 194, and then multiply that by 10 to the power of nine so that you get it into the standard unit of pascals. So just be careful about that. But then once you plug this expression into your calculator, you will get a very small change in volume. It's 2.81 times 10 to the negative eight. And dimensionally, the pascals in the numerator and the pascal in the denominator will cancel. This will leave you with meters cubed. And this result should make some sense because we have a positive change in volume. Conceptually, if we take a diamond under high pressure and then move it to conditions of relatively low pressure, then the diamond should expand by a small amount because of the reduction in the amount of external pressure. So the fact that it comes out positive should make some intuitive sense.